Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Paula Prisma. I am English Literature student 2017 in English Department, Faculty of Language and Arts, Universitas Negeri Semarang. This video is made for the requirements of my final project exams for the degree of Sarjana Sastra in English Literature. My final project is under the title The Use of New Mark Translation Methods in Translating Polo Quellos the Alchemist from English into Indonesian. But before we are going to talk about my finding and discussion, let me show you the content of this video presentation. There are five chapters in it. The chapter one, we are going to talk about introduction. Chapter two, we are going to talk about review of related literature. In the chapter 3, we are going to talk about research methodology. In the chapter 4, the main topic of this finding, we are going to talk about translation methods that is used in the novel. And then the last chapter, in the chapter 5, I'm going to draw some conclusion and also suggestion for the future researchers. Okay. Uh, without the further ado, let's go to the chapter one. Uh, background of the topic. Translation is the best choice to transfer some knowledge and information from one language into another language. Because actually, translation has a purpose for making the reader or audience get the message and understand the information from the original author. And then the next is translation method influence the result of translation. And this is actually like what has been stated by Numark in his book that translation method is related to whole text. So uh, translation method also influence the result of the translation. And then the next is translators have an important role in transferring messages from the source language into the target language to make good product of translation. Literary works are actually far more complicated to translate because they need to pay attention to specific aspects, such as the atmosphere presented in it and also the writer's writing style. To produce a good translation, translators must have good translation methods. This is a reason for choosing the topic. The researcher sees that there are various translation methods used by the translator to translate the novel. According to the effect, the researcher is interested in finding out the translation methods used in translating the dialogue sentences of the novel. The second one is research objectives. First is to describe the translation methods used in the novel. The alchemist by Polo Kule from English into Indonesian. And the second research objective is to explain ways in which methods are used to translate the novel. And then we are going to the chapter 2, Literature Review. This is the first previous study by Shiva and Pasari in 2013 entitled Translation Methods in a World to Remember Novel Translated into Kanku Kenang Selalu. The result of this study show that there are only five kinds out of eight translation methods used. The next previous study we are going to discuss is by Angriani in 2018 entitled An Analysis of English Indonesian Translation Method Used by Ingrid Dwiani Nimpono in Translating Greens the Fold in Our Stars. Based on the problem statements, the objectives of the study is to find out the English Indonesian translation method mostly used to translate complex sentences in John Green's novel, The Fault in Our Stars. The result of data analysis show that translation mostly used is communicative translation. And then the third review study by Flora in the 2014, she conducts a research about the analysis of translation methods and meaning of Lampung tourism brochures. The results of this finding show that the translators used only three out of four methods. Among the three methods, literal translation 
is the high host, then we are going to theoretical background, the definition of translation. In general, translation was changing a text from one language into another without changing the meaning or the idea that occur in the search language. Uh, while according to Newmark, translation is rendering the meaning of a text into another language in the way that the author intended the text. Methods of translation Translation methods are a way to determine direction and the characteristics of the translator in, in translating sentences. While according to Newmark in 1988, translation methods refer to how a search language text is translated into a target language. Is, this is translation methods classification by Newmark. This is V diagram. Newmark introduced eight translation methods which are divided into two groups. The first is the group of SL or search language emphasis and the second is target language and sex is we are going to discuss about the definition of novel and the definition of dialogue and then this is the theoretical framework of this research going to chapter 3 research methodology a research design that's being used in this research is qualitative research and the type research chosen was descriptive qualitative the object of the study is the first uh, Polo Coelho novels, The Alchemist, in English and in Indonesian, Polo Coelho Sang Alchemist. The next is the role of researcher. Role of researcher, this is, I'm going to take the role as the key instrument. I'm type of, the next is type of data. Data in this research will be obtained from a novel entitled The Alchemist, written by Polo Coelho, published in 1988, and its translation, Indonesian, Sang Alchemist, uh, translated by Tandil Lesmana in 2005. Next, we are going to discuss about data collection techniques. In this study, the writer used the original novel The Alchemist, one was in English and the one was in Indonesian. This is chapter 4, finding and discussion. Okay, so the next is discussion. The first is word-for-word -word translation. Newmark stated that word-for-word -word translation is often demonstrated as interlinear translation with the target language immediately below the search language words. As you can see in the example, the search language never stopped dreaming and in the target language it is translated into jangan pernah berhenti bermimpi never is the word never is translated into jangan pernah the word stop is translated into berhenti and dreaming is translated into bermimpi it is has no change in its structure so that's why we call it as word for word translation. The next is literal translation. According to Numark, in literal translation, method the search language grammatical construction are converted to their nearest target language equivalents, but the lexical words are again translated singly out of context. In the data number 48, search language this is an important book, but it's really irritating. The target language, itu buku penting tapi sangat menjengkelkan. As we can see, the literal translation only changes both grammatical structures. So, in the phrase important book, got translated into buku penting. Where in the search language structure, an adjective is put before a noun. Yet, in the target language, is the opposite. And the next is faithful translation. According to Newmark, faithful translation attempts to reproduce the precise contextual meaning of the original within the constraints of the target language grammatical structures. Okay, so 
in the data number 262, there's a caravan living today for Alfayum, the target language. Hari ini ada caravan menuju Alfayum. Nah. Well, so this is translated using faithful translation because it faithfully translated. The next is semantic translation. According to New Mark, semantic translation takes more account to the aesthetic value. We can see in the data number 1332, we've done it. It's translated into kita berhasil. On the data number 332, uh, was identified using semantic translation. It could be looked up how translator translate. We've done it into kita berhasil. The sentences were having a uh, same boundary, which is mean that the task has been completed or finished recently. The next is adaptation translation. Adaptation translation, according to Numark, is the freest form of translation. In the data number 213, in the search language, in the poll sentence, Plaza of the Sacred Stone is translated into Kaaba. As we can see, that uh, this is freely translated by the translator into Kaaba. The next is free translation. According to Numa, free translation reproaches the matter without the manner or the content without the form of original. Usually, it is part of phrase much longer than the original. So, in the data number 418, the phrase, you don't have to do anything about it, got translated into terserah. As we can see, this is uh, shorter than the original. The sentence, the, the sentence, you don't have to do anything about it, means that the speaker of the dialogue Things that someone doesn't have to do any, the any of the things that the speaker does, so that it is translated into terserah. Next is idiomatic translation. It, according to Newmark, idiomatic translation reproduces the message of the original, but tends to distort nuances of meaning by preferring colloquialism and idioms where this does not exist in the original. In the data. Number 1475 in the search language, watch out for his venom. In the target language, translated into hati-hati dengan racunnya. Okay, so in translating the data, the translator applied idiomatic translation method. It can be seen from the translation of idiom from English into Indonesian. The idiom of watch out the translated to Indonesian idiom hati-hati and the last is communicative translation method according to Numark communicative translation tends to render the exact contextual meaning of the originals in such a way that both content and language are readily acceptable comprehensible to the readership in the data number 60 Five. In the search language, we can see it is uh, and what do you do in Salem? Got translated into target language into apa pekerjaan anda di Salem? In this uh, sentence, and what do you do in Salem is not translated into apa yang kamu lakukan because it is inappropriate with the context and function of the sentence and. It is related into apa pekerjaan anda to make it more appropriate with the context and intention of the sentence, which is asking someone's job, not what is someone doing to make it more appropriate. All right, and then we are in the chapter five. It is a conclusion and suggestion. The conclusion of this research is 
165 data dialogue of translation methods found in the novel, 8 translation methods used in the novel. The most translation method used was literal translation method, while adaptation is found to be least translation method used. Source language emphasis is more frequently applied in this translation work. Suggestion for the translators. The researchers suggest paying more attention in choosing and using which method is best to translate the text. And then, a suggestion for future researchers whose concern in linguistic field may further explore the possible studies on Paul Poist, the alchemist, or in the grammatical expression. We are in the end of the presentation, so that's all I can explain. Thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.